anaendelea kupinga udhibiti wa makanisa kama ilivyopendekezwa na serikali akifika mbele ya kamati maalumu ya bunge la seneti na uchunguza mauaji the, ya dhehebu potovu la shakahola ili kuojiwa askofu Margaret Wanjiru wa Jesus is Alive Ministries amelaumu serikali kwa kuingilia shughuli za makanisa tangu mauaji hayo ya shakahola na kupendekeza kuwa viongozi wa makanisa wapigwe msasa kabla ya kupewa fursa na nafasi ya kuongoza katika makanisa aidha wakili wa mhubiri David Owori alitakiwa kueleza kamati hiyo kuhusu miujiza wanayodai kufanyia waumini hebu na tupate walichokisema mbele ya seneti hiyo would be in order yes. for us to admit this document kamati ya seneti inayochunguza mauaji ya mamia ya watu katika dhehebu potovu la shakahola inaloongozwa na naye mhubiri Paul Mackenzie leo imeongoza kikao maalum kinachojumuisha viongozi wa madhehebu na umma kwa jumla wakiongozwa na askofu Margaret Wanjiru wa Jesus is Alive Ministry na mhubiri David Dowor wa Repentance and Holiness Ministry na kutoa hisia na kupeana maoni yao kwa kamati hiyo to ask this question is uh, general Paul Mackenzie was a taxi driver a taxi driver and then he is holding a pulpit he stands there he commands people they follow him so th th there's a basis there's a place we are coming from when we say shouldn't we have some basic training Viongozi wa kidini walikuwa na wakati mgumu kuelezea masuala nyeti yanayochipuka kutoka upande wa kamati hiyo ya seneti inayoongozwa na seneta Dunstone Mwangatana ikiwemo iwapo makanisa yanapaswa kudhibitiwa na serikali au yaweze kujiongoza muda upi wanaopaswa kuhubiri ili kupandishwa cheo viongozi kwenye madhehebu wanayoongoza iwapo viongozi wanapaswa kuwa na vieti ili kuhubiria waumini na iwapo makanisa yanapaswa kuwa chini ya umavuli wa kuadhibiti and, and the doctrine it comes down boils down to the doctrine and the practice of church and the need for uh, churches and denominations to be accountable and yes. to follow the sound doctrine and sound practices is it okay for one man of god to dictate all doctrines all curriculum without question and in perspective of the current situation in the country will it be fair for one man to do all this and i think this is now when we talk about regulating the charges because if we allow this kind of power to be exercised by bishops i can tell you it will be chaotic and i think that is exactly what mackens was also doing in mombasa viongozi hao wa kidini wakiongozwa na skofu margaret wanjiru na upande wa wakili wa mhubiri david dowor wakiemo viongozi wa madhehebu mbalimbali wamezidi kukashifu mauaji ya dhehebu potovu la shakahola na kusema kuwa serikali na mahakama zilikosa kuwajibika katika utoaji huduma kutokana na mauaji hayo ya shakahola huku wengine wakitaka kuwekwa kwa sheria mpya za kudhibiti makanisa haswa iweze kudhibitiwa na tume huru na wengine wakitaka sheria zilizopo kutekelezwa ili kuzuia visa sahihi na shakahola what is obvious is that it happened over a long period of time it is not something that happened within a year or a couple of months this is something that was ongoing for a very very long period i was even shocked the other day that still even as late as last week bodies are still being removed from the grave this is an unbelievable and we have the place has been declared a security zone i want to believe that our contribution here and presentation here will go a long way in adding value to the outcome of this committee haya yanajiri huku awamu ya nne ya ufukuzi wa mili zaidi eneo la Shakaola kaunti ya Kilifi ikiendelea Stanley Lugaria Lookup TV